G'day everyone, this week on printables, a printable Velcro that won the recent Velcro contest was close to the top of trending, so today we'll print a few versions and test what filament you should use if you're printing this out. It's not what you expect. While I was editing this video, I noticed there's a parametric version that's been remixed by Teaching Tech, and I'll link to that in the description below. It lets you create any size Velcro you want, but this video will focus on MM Printing's version that won the competition, and an interesting way I found to get the best of both worlds when it comes to different filaments. I started with a few standard filaments, some green PLA, black ABS, and when they first printed I noticed the pins broke off pretty easily, even just putting them together and pulling them apart. I kind of expected it with the small print area for the pins where they attach to the base. After a few tests to improve the layer adhesion, I settled on a fairly high temperature to print 230 degrees for PLA, 255 for the ABS, and that helped a lot to bond the layers together. It's a fairly standard trick to try if you're having an issue with layer adhesion. I did notice with both filaments that the rigidity didn't help, so I thought I'd try with the TPU as well as printing at a larger size. The smaller TPU version I found was a little hard to get together and I thought maybe a larger version might work so I did just a simple scale to 150%. When that came out though it was clear the flexibility of the TPU meant that the pins wouldn't hold very well. What we needed was the rigidity of the harder plastic but the flexibility of the TPU. So I printed the base in PLA, paused the print at the last full layer and then switched to the TPU filament. There's a bunch of things to note around doing it this way and I can hear people rolling their eyes. Let me know in the comments how much you hate this way of doing it and I'll make another video on different methods of a switching filament mid print. The result though felt really good. I had a lot of confidence in that one. So let's test them out. I laid them all out, screwed them to a board, starting with 250 gram weights, moving up to 500 grams. I really thought I'd have failures before this but they all handled it perfectly. It wasn't until the one kilo test that we had the first failure and that was the small TPU filament that pulled away. It was a lot more weight than I thought it would hold and really it was just the flexibility that made it pull off. From there I ramped things up and went straight to a two kilo weight. The PLA and ABS both broke the holding timbers but they didn't actually pull away. The pure TPU pulled away two kilos and the PLA TPU combination was still going strong. At 2.5 kilos, it was still working fine. So next load is three kilos and it still held, but you can see from the top here, it was really flexing. A better way of testing would have been to stick the whole back of the print and use better hooks, so of course. Hate all you like in the comments, but just give it a thumbs up to show the lack of scientific rigor. This was a super quick test, testing method being equal to see which is the strongest rather than a specific weight they could hold. But one more kilo was too much and even our hero pulled apart at that point. So the final conclusion if you're printing this one, the harder base of the PLA with the final base layer and pins in TPU worked brilliantly and that's definitely how I'd recommend to print in this specific model. I'd also go for the extra size at 150% but one thing to check is how the parametric version that, that's been remixed works at the same size but with smaller pins. In theory the extra surface area to hold on would mean it would work better than just scaling up the original version but it's something to test out in your situation. Try it out, let us know in the comments. That's it for another week. If you like this and you don't want to miss another top trending print like we do each week, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next week.